James Ganidez is a former Marine. He served two combat tours in Iraq. There, he formed many enduring bonds and friendships, and none greater than with Clayton Cohn. Clayton was a person that I loved. We went through combat together, and I felt I would always be friends with him. So when Clayton started a money management firm in Chicago after their discharge, James gladly invested, eventually giving Cohn almost $400,000, money James had inherited from his late father. He told me it was doing great. It was always growing. That was one of many lies, Clayton told James. The Securities and Exchange Commission eventually shut down Cohn's firm, claiming it was a fraud, and that he financed an extravagant lifestyle in California using investor funds. James lost all his money. The biggest betrayal I've ever had in my life, and to this day I, can't, I still can't grasp it, I can't come to terms with it. Unfortunately, James's story is not unique. Military veterans are targets of investment scams across the country, in some cases by fellow veterans. A former Navy SEAL is accused of using the bond that he formed with fellow SEALs to scam them out of their savings. In San Diego, ex-Navy SEAL Jason Mullaney was sentenced to more than six years in prison for stealing $1.2 million from fellow SEALs in an investment scam. In Hawaii, Army reservist Jason Pasqua cheated 29 people, many fellow reservists, out of $1.6 million. Virginia-based soldiers lost $200,000 to a con artist posing as a military man. Experts say these cases are classic affinity fraud. You trust someone because he's in your group and don't bother to check out the investment. And who would you trust more than someone you served with? Your battle buddy. What did he do in the time since you've served together to develop the financial wherewithal to offer you investments? Did he go to school? Did he get into a training program? Is he registered with FINRA to sell the kind of investment that he's offering to you? Is the investment itself registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission as something proper being offered to the public? Just because you serve with someone, you still need to verify that they know what they're doing and that the investment is above board. Trust, but verify. So this is Monica. Dr. John Gentile trusted his army buddy. You know, when you say you're in the military and you serve with somebody, that kind of makes you kind of like a band of brothers, as they say. But he never verified. Pretty good. Dr. Gentile, a military veteran with advanced degrees and years of investment experience, okay. relied too much on that band of brothers mentality. He and family members lost about $6 million in a Ponzi scheme orchestrated by his former Army buddy turned CPA, Lorne Lightman. I did not check him out because I have known him for 38 years. I was in the Army with him, you know, he was my best friend. John Gentile and James Gonita's stories are becoming painfully familiar. Experts say trust alone is never enough. Regardless of your trust or ties, do your homework. Check out the investment and the professional and ask a lot of questions. FINRA's broker check is an important first stop to verify that a professional is licensed to sell investments. Websites like the FINRA Foundation's SaveAndInvest.org and SEC.gov offer more means of checking investments and learning about financial products. Before you invest, always ask and check.